Welcome to 13 Hammer Time 62's LEGO Media Reviews. Today we got another CD-ROM review of LEGO Chess. This is a very classic game, but taken into a LEGO version. Recommended ages 6 to 12, plays on Windows. And this one I actually bought um, a couple of years ago, so it's a Windows XP compatible. So basically, you're playing the game of chess with two classic LEGO themes. At the time of the game, these um, themes were active. There was pirates, and there was cowboys. Some of your older time LEGO fans might remember these sets. LEGO Chess is one of the few CD-ROM games that included a special model when you bought the game. So we'll just sign in here. Hi, I'm the king. Welcome to my castle. Show me what you want to do. The special set you could buy with the game that is included with it was the king and his chair. There are other ones such as LEGO Loco, which gives you a push card with two figures. And Lego Creator, which gave you a um, motorbike with a minifigure included. We have a scrapbook. Click here to look at your scrapbook. This shows all the different combinations of moves that each of the characters can play against each other. And there's a secret picture with an award on this page. Now I've only recently installed this, so I don't have it all complete. This is where you quit. Chess. You change settings, how to play the game here, by actual chess play rules, chess. playing on a network, play someone on another computer. changing player, story mode, which Click allows you to play, to play a story game. allows you to play as as pirates or as cowboys. But we're just gonna play a quick game. We'll do pirates versus a computer in the setting, and I'm a human. You can change the difficulty of the computer. Let's we'll keep it at 30. I'll we'll play standard chess. Got all the pawns, bishops, queen, king, rook, knight. I think I've covered all the areas. So you select one of your minifigures and move them and forward. Now what's really interesting about this game is they show you how many and what kinds of spaces each character can move and at what times. You can't move the bishop right now because there are, there are characters blocking it. But you can move the knight. Just in an off chance you might need to. Now I'm not a great chess player, so I'll just take this game uh, nice and easy. Hmm. Got him. This is a very cool feature of LEGO Chess. Every time you capture a certain character, there will be a video that plays. Now say the red one got my blue one. The same thing would happen, but with a color change. There are lots of different combinations for, for characters getting other characters. Like so. And that was a bad move for my part then. I'd like to mention this right now before I make any other moves. Um, let me know in the description or in the comments below, if you'd like me to start making walkthroughs of these kinds of games, because I know lots of YouTube players um, do that. 
Yeah, yeah, color reversal. So let me know if I if I should try to play these games over a course of videos. Because lots of times I try to just review the basics of the game in one video. And sometimes it doesn't work that way. But um But let me know if I should just continue playing these games, you know, almost as a walkthrough. I'm gonna bring out some artillery. Or cavalry, I mean. Oh boy. Lego must have been very creative with all these skits. figures in the game are actually based on LEGO sets. Of course, they're not the same color scheme, but they are still very unique. Hmm... Ah, oh, that's tough. Yeah, I told you I'm not a great chess player. But I'll play what I can. I'm going to quit this game for now because I want to show you the... Oh, here we go. Queen doesn't want me to quit. I want my hat! <laughs> I'm going to quit this for now and I'm going to show you the other side. The pirates. Now there is an actual standard chess mode where you just have chess pieces. Eh, you know, let's have more comic Lego fun. Hmm. And the tutorial mode in this game allows you to play with certain rules. I mean, there's the standard chess rules, but there are also um, secret techniques that can help you win in, in the story mode. They're, they're pretty clever, actually. Let's see. Like this one, on Passant. When the pawn moves forward two spaces and you're in line with him, you can sneak up behind them and grab him. That's one I remember best about the secret techniques. Of course, that also opens me up for, for Queen to get me. A little risky. <laughs> you can also skip through by pressing the spacebar. I skipped it because it was the same videos I showed before. Now, given that if you, if there are enough. Um, sure. 
make a note every while. Now, I was gonna say before, if, um, if you guys really want me to do some walkthroughs, I'll have to start over on and call it by a new name other than media reviews. So know that this isn't going to be the first episode of a walkthrough, if it was. going to happen. This will probably be our last skit, and then we'll close it. If you're good at chess, and you love Legos, go ahead and play this game.